through the area this weekend along with humidity. Seven First Alert meteorologist Marissa Wall is in here with what we can expect through the rest of the weekend. Marissa. Well, we're looking at about the same thing tomorrow, but even more showers and more thunderstorms. And yes, the humidity will be sticking around. Taking a look here at radar, you can see some showers and storms developing now off to our west. We did have a line of storms move in the Lenaway and Monroe County at about one o'clock or so, and then worked its way through the city and then kind of fizzled out as it pushed farther to the north. But now we're seeing more development even farther off to the west, but also still tracking this one little shower here. Maybe hearing some rumbles of thunder, the, the recent lightning strike uh, there just to the south of Port Sanilac. Now we do have more showers and storms just to the west of Howell. You can see nothing severe expected, but lightning is just as dangerous. So please stay inside, especially if you do hear the distant rumbles of thunder. These storms are moving west to east. We also have another one now just to the west of Adrian. So it's just a matter of time before it moves into your area. Expect some pretty good downpours and also maybe some pea sized hail this evening. We'll have the same thing again as we get into tomorrow. Bigger picture of what's going on. Thankfully, the severe weather though is staying well off to our south, but we do have a mess across the region. Really no big system has developed. So because of the humidity and also the warm temperatures, we have these pop up showers and thunderstorms that do develop. So that's what we're seeing right now. But as we get into tomorrow, we'll actually finally have a system kind of roll through that'll bring more showers and storms. All right, here on Futurecast, take this with a grain of salt because obviously it's really firing things in the southern part of our state. Not expecting that, but we will keep showers and storms as we head through this evening. And then as we head overnight tonight, we'll keep just an isolated shower, maybe a thunderstorm, but for the most part, it will be fairly quiet overnight. But as we head throughout your day tomorrow, we'll start to see more showers pop in and then more showers and thunderstorms developing as we head into the afternoon and evening with even more later into the evening before everything is done and over with after about 10 o'clock tomorrow. So still expecting more showers, still expecting more thunderstorms, and also still expecting some muggy conditions. Right now, as we take a look at dew points, we're still in the mid to upper 60s and even low 70s. So all those green numbers, those are your dew points. When you factor that kind of in the range here, it's kind of that muggy to almost miserable or at least uncomfortable feeling uh, as you are out and about. Temperatures have rebounded. Once those showers rolled through, we did fall into the upper 60s at a couple of pockets, but we're back near 80 degrees at this moment. As we head into tonight, it is going to be a relatively warm one, only falling to 70 degrees to start off your Sunday. In the afternoon tomorrow, we're up to just 79, so a little bit cooler tomorrow, but still dew points will be in the mid to upper 60s. It is going to feel very humid. 80s on Monday for the fourth, upper 80s, but we're dry Monday and Tuesday. Chance for showers and storms arriving again late on Wednesday. Simon? The Red Wings have been busy.